Let us rejoice and be glad and give glory to God. For the Lord our God, the Almighty reigns. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, as we again celebrate this Easter season, come together at this holy altar, let's call to mind our sins and ask the Lord for his mercy. I confess yes. to Almighty God and, and to you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that I have, have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Enable us, we pray, Almighty God, to proclaim the power of the risen Lord, that we who have received the pledge of his gift may come to possess all he gives when it is fully revealed. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The community of believers was of one heart and mind, and no one claimed that any of his possessions was his own, but they had everything in common. With great power, the apostles bore witness to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great favor was accorded them all. There was no needy person among them, for those who owned property or houses would sell them, bring the proceeds of the sale, and put them at the feet of the apostles, and they were distributed to each according to need. Thus, Joseph, also named by the apostles Barnabas, which is translated son of encouragement, a Levite, a Cypriot by birth, sold a piece of property that he owned, then brought the money and put it at the feet of the apostles. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Our response is, the Lord is king, he is robed in majesty. The, the Lord, Lord is king, king. He, he is robed, robed in majesty. majesty. The Lord is king, in splendor robed, robed is the Lord, and girt about with strength. The Lord, the Lord is king, king. He, is he is robed in majesty. And he has made the world firm, not to be moved. Your throne stands firm from of old, from everlasting you are, O Lord. The Lord, the Lord is king, he, he is robed in majesty. majesty. Your decrees are worthy of trust indeed, Holiness benefit befits your house, O Lord, for length of days. The Lord is king, he is robed in majesty. Alleluia. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Son of Man must be lifted up, so that everyone who believes in him may have eternal life. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to you, o Lord. Jesus said to Nicodemus, You must be born from above. The wind blows where it wills, and you can hear the sound it makes, but you do not know where it comes from or where it goes. So it is with everyone who is born of the Spirit. Nicodemus answered and said to him, How can this happen? Jesus answered and said to him, 
You are a teacher of Israel, and you do not understand this? Amen, amen, I say to you. We speak of what we know, and we testify to what we have seen. But you people do not accept our testimony. If I tell you about earthly things and you do not believe, how will you believe if I tell you about heavenly things? No one has gone up to heaven except the one who has come down from heaven, the Son of Man. And just as Moses lifted up the serpent in the desert, so must the Son of Man be lifted up, so that everyone who believes in him may have eternal life. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today the Church continues her Easter Catechesis, what it means to be a Christian, what it means to be a follower of Christ, what the resurrection, how it changes our life. So we hear examples in the Acts of the Apostles, and we hear Christ explaining it here in the Gospel, in the Gospel of John. So yesterday, you may remember, Jesus was speaking with Nicodemus and said, unless you're born of water and spirit, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. Today, similarly, he says, in the same conversation, a little later, you must be born from above. What does it mean to be born from above? What does it mean to be born of water and spirit? What does it mean to have the Holy Spirit dwelling within us? Well, oftentimes it's mysterious. We don't know, we don't see exactly what the Spirit is about. It's like the wind. But we see the effects. We see the work the Spirit is doing within us. And everyone who is born of the Spirit is moved by the Holy Spirit, is impelled, is drawn to carry out God's will in the world. Nicodemus has trouble understanding. The Lord recommends to him that he's too focused on earthly things, that he's too focused on teachings that um, hinder him from coming to knowledge of the truth, and explains once again that he must be lifted up, that the cross brings the resurrection, and the cross has power in our life and transform us, so that everyone who looks upon Christ on the cross, just as Moses and the serpent in the desert lifted up the serpent, so everyone who looks on Christ on the cross, him in Christ may have eternal life. So that's the catechesis that the Lord is giving. And then in the Acts of the Apostles, we see different ways that this Holy Spirit bears out this life, these gifts that we've received at our baptism. And today, we have this community of believers who, not focused at all on earthly things, put all they have, all their possessions, at the feet of the apostles to distribute to those in need. This is another thing the Holy Spirit does in our own lives. We should be dispossessed of earthly things. We shouldn't be care, we shouldn't uh, put all our focus and attention on what we have. Rather, we should notice the needs of those around us. And there are still those who the Lord calls by the power of the Holy Spirit to do it just as the Acts of the Apostles, as it was done in the Acts of the Apostles. And they're in the great religious orders who sell everything they have and live together in common in vows of poverty. But the Holy Spirit is still busy at work carrying out these great things in our life. But all of us, whether we're a monk in a, um, in a cell in the middle of a religious community, or a parishioner at St. John's, have this responsibility to listen to the Holy Spirit, to be guided by that, that gentle breeze, or sometimes the wind in Oklahoma is pretty forceful, you know, sometimes the Spirit is forceful with us, to make sure that we're, we're living our lives um, fully alive, fully Im impelled by Christ and His Spirit, and that our gifts that God has given us, we are putting not just for ourselves, but for all those in need and for the good of the whole church. So we're called um, to continue to, to reflect, what does my baptism mean to me? What does the baptismal call that I've received, the Holy Spirit dwelling inside, where is the Holy Spirit leading me? What are the effects in my life? Are those effects there of my baptism? And how can I continue to grow in this Easter season to fully embrace and fully rejoice in that great gift of Christ's passion, death, and resurrection. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.
As children of the Father and brothers of Christ, we gather our prayers and petitions and offer them to our Heavenly Father. For the Church and all believers, may the Holy Spirit always be our guide, giving wisdom to those who lead the Church, especially in this time. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our civil leaders, may God speak wisdom into their hearts, as Jesus did for Nicodemus. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are trapped in physical or spiritual bondage, may life in the Spirit lead to freedom and redemption. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this faith community, may God inspire us in our life of community, prayer and generosity for all. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the faithful departed, may God lead them into the glory of his kingdom. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the intention of this holy mass, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We invite you now to add your own petitions from home. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Father of all goodness, we ask that you listen to our prayers and answer them according to your holy will. Through Christ Jesus, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer. <clears throat> Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death, and by rising restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts 
Sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Make you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world. Together with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Paul, our Bishop, and all those who, holding to the truth, hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants. and all gathered here, whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you this sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls, in hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. In communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, and all your saints. We ask that through their merits and prayers in all things we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family. Order our days in your peace and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands. With eyes raised to heaven, to you, O God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands. And once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim, proclaim your, your death, O Lord, and, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed Passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance, 
and to accept them as ones who are pleased to accept the gifts of your servant, Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high, in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son, may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants who are those sinners, hope in your abundant mercies. Graciously grant some share in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord, you sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Pray together our prayer of spiritual communion. My, My Jesus, Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to possess you within my soul. Since I am unable now to receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as being already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. 
the Christ had to suffer and rise from the dead, and so enter into his glory. Alleluia. Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers, that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. St. Michael the Archangel, defend, defend us in battle. battle. Be our, our defense, defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. We'll pray three Hail Marys for an end to the coronavirus and its effects. Hail Mary, Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. <laughs>